Hey YouTube, Droid Review here. I um, got my new camera set up. Um, I'm gonna do a, well I'm gonna try to do a tutorial video. This is gonna be a first for me, so please bear with me. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to root your droid um, and also gonna be showing you a couple other different things um, when you do root your droid. Um, I'm gonna try to show you how to create backups um, called Nandroid an Backups, and I'm also going to be showing you how to do a um, custom ROM. I'm not going to be able to fit them all in one video, so it might be two part, three part, who knows. Um, it, it's real easy once you get used to it, um, but I'm going to try to go through it just like you would at home, um, because I know there's times where a lot of people, you know, they try to show you how to do something when it's already done to their phone, and it, you might get some crazy errors or something like that. So. Um, what I have right here is a non-rooted uh, non phone and um, with no custom ROM, as you can see, I'll go into uh, the uh, firmware here and we're running 2.0.1 uh, and a Android kernel. So we're not rooted or custom ROMed at all there. Um, okay, Drooted, I keep saying drooting, but rooting your phone. Um, basically what that does is it, it, it's, it's not unlocking your phone, it's not jailbreaking your phone, there's no way to get free apps out of this. Um, it's a simple way to basically just install a custom ROM to your phone. And what that means is a custom ROM meaning, you know, let's just say you wanted the Nexus 1 uh, ROM on your, on your G1 or on your Droid or on your uh, HTC Ares or on your um, Samsung Moment. There's tons of Android phones out there um, with all sorts of different ROMs and different tweaks and um, this enables you to um, put custom ROMs on your phone from other phones or other carriers um, from around the world. It also enables you to customize the phone how you want, create different themes. Um, as you saw, I had the um, uh, smoke theme uh, in my last video that everyone was ooing and aahing about and wanted to know how I did it. Uh, but that's really the main reason why you want to uh, root your phone is to install custom uh, ROMs to your phone. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that right here. Okay, so first things first. What you're going to want to do is I have um, many download links to your right over there um, that you're going to see. The first one you're going to want to download is um, the root. Um, update.zip and I'll, the link is right there. You're going to want to download that, put it to your desktop, okay? So once that's downloaded, um, you're going to have update.zip downloaded to your desktop. Now, then what you're going to want to do is you want to grab your trusty USB cable here and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Okay. Um, for all you guys that know, um, you know, we always want to mount our USB. Mounting obviously um, gives you the ability to transfer files back and forth from the phone to the uh, to another phone. So I'm going to set this phone. I'm going to move the camera to see what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and just set this down. So now you see we have it automatically open. It's going to be kind of hard to see this, but um, we have update.zip downloaded to our desktop right there. So all we're going to do is if there is an update.zip already in the root of your SD card because this is this is our SD card that popped up here. So this is all the stuff that's on our phone right now. We're going to go ahead and if there's an update.zip file right there, which there is, we're going to go ahead and delete it. So don't even worry about it. Just let's go ahead and just delete it. So we'll go ahead and delete it. The next thing we want to do is grab our update.zip file that we downloaded that's in my show notes right there to the right there in the file description. Um, we're going to go ahead and drag it all the way across and we're just going to put it in the root of the SD card. The root means it's not going to go in any of these folders, it's just going to go in the root, okay? So that means it's, it's, it's a file by itself there and it's going to copy, as you can see, okay? And just, you know, to give you a heads up, you're going to make sure that this file is a roughly around 10 megabytes. See it right there? It's about 10 megabytes. And that's basically it as far as um, uh, putting putting the um, putting anything on your SD card. So now we're going to go back to the phone. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that down. So we're going to come back to the phone here. Now we're going to go ahead and unplug it. So we unplug it. Um, now this is a tricky part. That's not really even tricky. Let's go ahead and turn off the phone. Power it off. 
Push OK. So we're going to go ahead and power off the phone right here. Now we need to reboot in recovery mode. And in order to do that, um, a lot of people don't know about recovery mode, um, but it's basically a mode, it's almost like a safe mode. Um, they're calling it recovery mode so that you can recover your data if needed to or recover your ROM if needed to. Um, if you don't plan on rooting your device, there's no real need to boot in recovery mode. So let's go ahead. What you're gonna do here is in order to boot in recovery mode, you're gonna go ahead and push the power button and the X key at the same time. So I'm pushing the power and the X key at the same time. So push and hold power and the X key. You'll see what happens here. So you'll see the little Motorola screen there. And it's gonna sit here for a while. You keep on pu pushing it until you get to this. So now you're gonna see a triangle with an exclamation point and a little phone underneath. The next thing you wanna go is you're gonna wanna be able to get into the recovery menu. And by doing that, you're gonna wanna push the volume up key and the camera button at the same time. So we'll go ahead and push that, boom. That got us into this little menu here. Now one thing that you're gonna wanna do is um, once, once you're in this menu, you're gonna wanna use the D-pad and push the down, or let, I should say right button, and then you're gonna click on um, apply SD card update dot zip. It's kind of hard to see, but the text is so small in this menu, but it's the second option down. And then you're going to go ahead and push the gold button on the D-pad right here, okay? So once we do that, it's going to go ahead and do this crazy option. It's going to sit here for a little bit, and um, it's going to go through here. And it's going to say, install from SD card complete. That's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and reboot the system now, which there's an option right there. Text is hard to see, so it's kind of hard to film it, but it's there. So we can, as you can see, I can, you know, scroll up and down. So we're going to click on Reboot System now. We're going to click on Reboot. It's going to reboot the phone. Doo, doo, doo. So there it goes. It's rebooting. So what we did is we basically went into recovery mode and we applied, we opened up that update.zip that we put on the uh, root of the SD card. This essentially roots your phone. That's it. I mean, that's how easy it is. Some people think it's so hard and they get so paranoid about hurting their phone. We're not really doing anything. We, we didn't even put anything on the physical memory of the phone. It's on the SD card right now. And as you can see, we're in the, it, the phone's still fine. It's still doing its little droid eye here. Um, so let's go ahead and wait for this thing to load up. Um, now, if you don't, if you're like, okay, well, I don't know if that worked or not. Am I rooted? Am I not? The first thing that you're going to find that when you're rooted is nothing's changed. You know, everything's fine. The world has not ended. Your warranty is not voided. Um, your phone's not a brick. You know, so don't be afraid of this. I'm, I'm a lot of people get discouraged when they see, hear about rooting or hacking or whatever you want to call it, your device. One thing to look at to see if your phone's been rooted is you basically just scroll down here and you look for something called super user permission. It's this little guy with like a ninja slash, I don't know what that is. Sorry, it's not real, it's kind of hard to focus, but that icon means you're rooted. Now, if you click on it, it's not gonna do anything. You know, you're gonna have a couple different things in there, um, but uh, some if you don't have anything, you're fine. It's not a big deal. And that's basically meaning you're rooted. So I'm already at nine minutes, so I hate to say this, but um, that's our rooting video. So I'm going to say, you know, um, in part two, I'm going to show you how to do a Nandroid backup. And what, th what that means is basically um, we're going to go into recovery mode and be able to make a perfect image of what we have here. Reason being is because if you were to brick your phone or do anything bad or something screw up or you you install a ROM that you thought was going to be good and then you're like oh my god it just totally bricked my phone or I hate this thing you can always reboot into recovery mode load your backed up ROM and it'll look just like how you saved it which is really cool so it's almost essentially a device to where um, you can uh, basically just do whatever you want and not have to worry about hurting your phone that bad I mean essentially yes you could still damage your phone but um, this is going to save you a lot of uh, grief or stress about doing it. So 
Um, I'm going to show you how to do that in the next uh, video. It's called an Android Backup. Um, basically allows you to just create a um, mirror image of your phone or ROM um, of what it looks like right before you install anything. So um, you keep all your apps, your contacts, the way your phone looks, everything the same. It's just like pushing the reset button. It's similar to um, how you restore your system in Windows XP or Vista or whatever. kind of creates a, um, a, a restore image, essentially. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, and um, please let me know if you have any questions. Just make a just put the comments in the comment section and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, thanks again. See ya.